Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I am here to do a The Bonnie Shop mini haul and collection. I just went yesterday and bought five body butters, so those are included in my whole collection, but I know a lot of people have been asking to see a collection video from me, and um, it's hard to do one whole video because it would be forever, so I'm going to do different brands throughout the day. So the first one that I have is The Bonnie Shop. I'm going to start with like smaller things and then work my way up. So I have two samples. Um, one is in a scrub and one is in a shower gel that I picked that I uh, got yesterday because I picked up a new scent and I wanted to try it in the shower gel and scrub too, which I'll talk about later. I have a vitamin E moisture cream. And this is just like a moisturizer. I have a mango antibacterial hand sanitizer. I have a bar of coconut soap. I have three of their EDTs, which are like their perfumes, but they're they're not body sprays, they're regular perfumes. I have a honey mania. Mango. I'm not doing scent descriptions on anything except for the new scents. Strawberry. And these are really small, but they last a long time. I have two body sprays. One in Shea. They're called body mists. And one in Mango. And I only have sprays in the sense that I have the Jumbo Body Butters in, except for one because I just got that Jumbo Body Butter. I have a coconut beautifying oil so you can put some drops in your bath or um, on your body or in your hair or whatever and this is in coconut. I believe they have them in all their fragrances. I have one of their body polishes in Satsuma. It's almost done. Now they have body scrubs and they have body polishes because the body polishes are almost like cleansing too. It's really a different formula and they don't have both in each scent so you have to just see which one they have. Then I have one of the, it's called the Absinthe Purifying Hand Butter and I've used just a little bit of this and it's just like, it's a hand cream but in the same way it's like, it's really really thick. It's thick like their body butters and um, the Absinthe line, I believe, is like a clarifying line or just a clean line. I don't know. This is a nice hand butter. I use it sometimes. I have three mini body butters, which I have the Chaka Mania, Coconut, and my favorite body butter of all time, Shea. Then I have the Honey Mania Bubbling Bath Melt, and this is in the Honey Mania, and this is like a bath melt in a container, so you just pour it out. I really like that. It bubbles and it softens your bath. I have this that I got at TJ Maxx. It's a mango body scrub, and this must be expired because after I got it, it doesn't really like scrub all that much, so I don't know why I still have it. I just want to use this up, but it still smells amazing. And they have two different kinds of scrubs. They have like a sugary scrub like this, and then they also have a um, like creamy scrub, but I like this one. Then on my shower gels, I have a Cranberry Joy shower gel. Now, let me tell you, this is how their shower gels come. Except for their holiday scents, they come in these long tubes. Now, this drives me nuts because I'm a very organized person. So whenever I organize, I have all these, and then I have this big one. It's just weird, and it's not the same size either, so it just doesn't fit right. So I either, um, I just have to use this one up really quick. I still have a little bit of this body butter left, so I should use that one up. So for shower gels, I have Mango. I eventually want to have a shower gel for every body butter, but I haven't got there yet. I have the Olive Shower Gel. The Shea Shower Cream. Now, again, they have shower gels and shower creams, but the shower creams, again, they don't have both. You either choose, it'll it'll have a kind. Honey Mania Shower Gel. This is my favorite. Even this drives me nuts, that this has a gold lid and all the others have clear. P 
pink grapefruit shower gel. And all their shower gels are soap free. Vineyard peach. And Satsuma. And then this is their small shower gels. I bought a jumbo shower gel in strawberry. So this is a very big shower gel. This is 25.3 ounces and these are 8.4 so these are actually the same size as BBW maybe a little smaller which is crazy because they look really small but this is has a little pumps to pump it out it's really a great size value too because I believe these are eight dollars and this is 15 now they have jumbo body butters as well and shower gels but they don't have them in every scent and the jumbo shower gels they don't have in the same sense as the jumbo body butters not really sure why they have strawberry moringa satsuma and olive in the jumbo shower gels and for jumbo body butters they have satsuma mango shea and coconut so i don't really understand why but anyway so those were all like that kind of stuff now i'll talk about my jumbo body butters i have the jumbo satsuma and again the jumbos are much better of a deal because the jumbo shower jumbo body butter is 25 the regular size is 20. So this is the Satsuma. It's just, this is brand new. I have not used this one yet. And I'm, all I'm going to tell you is um, what they smell like and what it's for. So this is Satsuma body oil with Satsuma oil for normal skin. Which, um, all their body butters say what type of skin it's for, but I don't really find the difference. Like some say dry skin, but it's a creamier body butter and some say very dry skin and it's the same texture so it's just the oils I believe that are in there so there's all different types of formulas this one's like a little bit lighter a little bit more shiny than some other ones are but again it won't come out of the container I love Satsuma it's such a nice scent but also before I start full in depth these are the older style these are the newer style it's just a big picture with the body shop and these are the older ones and they have these have the name on the side these have the name on the top so I have the Satsuma I have my all-time favorite Shea now this is community fair trade Shea butter for very dry skin and this is extremely thick it's just and this is has just a very nice nutty scent oh by the way Satsuma is like a bright clementine Mango body butter. This is also in the jumbo size. And this is very shiny. And this is for very dry skin as well. So as you can see, this has very dry skin as well as the Shea. But they're both very, very different consistencies. So you just really have to... I love the mango. Based on what it's like. What texture you like or what scent. So this is the mango. And now these are... Um, which way should I go? I'll go, these are on alphabetical order, so from backwards. This is Vineyard Peach, and Vineyard Peach is for dry skin, and it's a thicker body butter. Pink Grapefruit. This is a thinner body butter, and this is for normal skin, and it's very, very, very zingy very energizing this is a christmas body butter in cranberry joy and this is for all skin types and this is a thicker and thinner body butter it's like a mix sweet lemon body butter and this is for normal to dry skin and this is a shiny body butter papaya and this is for dry skin. As you can see, it has the name, the what it's for, 24 hour moisture, and then it has it in French. And then, did I show you this one? This is what this one looks like. It's just the thicker. Cocoa butter, body butter, for very dry skin. It has the same texture as the Shea. I think these all smell amazing. There's not one body butter from there that I despise, besides the hemp, but 
I wouldn't buy that. Strawberry body butter. And this is for normal skin. And this one's a thicker one. Passion fruit body butter. And this is for dry skin. Coconut body butter. Just letting you know I have every body butter from the body shop except for hemp and vitamin E. And this is for dry skin. I love the coconut. It smells super good. I have Satsuma body butter. I have a jumbo and I have two regular size. This one is the one that I've been using. As you can see, I have a lot missing. And this is a brand new one that I haven't used yet. They don't have seals on them, which one I, that's not something that I really like, but Olive Body Butter, one of my favorite body butters. Oh, and by the way, the Satsuma is for normal skin. Oh, I already said that before. The Olive is for dry skin. The Olive is just so nice and fresh scent. I love it. Chocomania, which says Feel Good Hydration. Exclusive edition. This one does not say, but I would guess this is 48 hour moisture instead of 24 hours. So I guess this is for very dry skin, and that's what this one looks like. Now, don't say, oh, chocolate. It's going to smell just like chocolate, because it doesn't. It does not smell like you would think, like a chocolate bar smells like. It smells like cocoa. Like chocolate cocoa is very good, though. Moringa body butter, and moringa is like a flower, and this is for dry skin. And um, a fun fact that you might not have known from the body shop is that the body shop invented body butter. So you see all these people making body butters. The body shop is the original. Brazil nut. Now this one does not have much of a scent at all. This is a hydration for dry skin. This does not have a huge scent. A very faint nutty scent. Unless, yeah, very faint honey, um... A very faint nutty scent but when I was at the store yesterday I smelled the body scrub and the body scrub is super super strong nutty type scent it's, it's almost like a caramel nut it's really really good so just a heads up about that this is the shea this is what the normal one looks like and this is for very dry skin and that's what that one looks like this one looks a little shinier than um, it used to but it's still the same formula. I tried it in the store. Mango body butter. And that's what this one looks like. Clean up around the edges right there. I always, I like mine to look nice too. And this drives me nuts when they get on the lid, but I've talked about that before. I try to clean them up as best that I can. Blueberry body butter. Now this is for dry skin. They also have the blueberry body butter reformulated and repackaged in the store currently right now. I haven't picked it up yet but I probably will in a couple weeks. And that's what this one looks like. Perfect. Nothing on the lid. It's just absolutely perfect. I did try it a little bit as you can tell. My new favorite scent Early Harvest Raspberry. This is a brand new scent. That's what I got the scrub and the shower gel samples in. And I purchased two when I was there yesterday. This is the one that I've been using. I just used it after I took a shower this morning. This smells just like jam. And this is for dry skin. It smells just like a raspberry jam. This smells more like the ice cream version of like black raspberry ice cream. But the scrub and shower gel smell like the jam. Then Honey Mania, which is another one of my favorites, and I have two of those. This one is the one I've been using currently, and Honey Mania is for dry skin as well, and this is the one that I have not used yet. Again, nothing on the lid, nice and perfect. And then two more that I bought this weekend. This one they brought back in the older style. This is the Almond Body Butter, and this is for normal to dry skin. And that's what this one looks like. And this one smells just like a fresh almond. And then the last body butter that I have 
I bought this weekend as well, and this is the Aloe Body Butter, because I figure with it getting to be warmer outside, it's going to become spring soon. This one has a lot on the lid. This is for sensitive skin. This is the only one that they have for sensitive skin, unless the vitamin E is. I haven't checked. I haven't gotten that one yet. Um, but this one... I want, because in the summertime, whenever I do put aloe on or whenever I do get, like, sunburned or irritated, this will really calm and cool it down instead of regular aloe. So that's what this one looks like. And it smells just like aloe. It's very fresh and very natural. I really like it. So that was my Body Shop mini haul and collection, more of a collection video. I have all their body butters except vitamin E and hemp. And now that I think of it, the Japanese Cherry Blossom, White Musk, and the Atlas Mountain Rose. But um, those ones are pretty much self-explanatory. I will get those in the future. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my The Body Shop collection. I like The Body Shop a lot. It's a very natural form of Bath & Body Works. I mean, they still do buy three, get two, buy three, get three. And you get like $10 off coupons. Sometimes you get 10% off your total purchase all the time if you sign up for a Love Your Body card. They're $10 a year, but you can get it for free, too, if you shop there a lot. Um, and they have deals where you can get it for like free if you spend $50 or whatever. But anyway, that was my The Body Shop collection. I give The Body Shop a A- as a grade of overall store because I wish that one, they put lids on their body butters. That's what drives me nuts. And two, I wish they would come out with new scents more often than what they do. So n I would like lids on the body butters, like a film, so I know that I'm the first person to touch a, to touch it. And two, um, more scents more often. Like for spring, bring out some really fun scents. But I know it's kind of hard to do because you're on natural and stuff but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys soon don't forget my sensi party is open till the end of april whoever places an order gets entered into a raffle for a free large yankee candle jar or a free bath and body works three wick of your choice signed and mailed to your house by me so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you later bye